coach Jim Sergio from the rifle team. He's going to be presented by Mark Christofferson, rifle team member. Jim Sergio, NHS rifle coach, won eight straight Section 4 championships between 1981 and 1988. Overall 17-year record of 166 and 61. Coach Norwich for six undefeated seasons. Algonquin, a league record 154 and 60, or 44. Norwich was a perennial New York State power during his coaching career. He coached from 1971 to 1988. Jim Sergio. He uh, uh, can watch a golf ball land like 300 yards away, but he can't read. Exactly. Uh, he's never been asked to do anything like this before. I'm very, very honored. Uh, I'm just glad to see some of my former teammates and teammates that I never shot with here tonight. Glad you're all here. Um, what can we say about the sport of shooting? You know, it's not very common, um, but it's back in the day, like Dave said, you know, we came from a different era. It was, you know, uh, different sports, different things going on. Uh, um, Jim was a say he's a very strong coach, but very Quiet and not demanding, but he he gives very healthy respect for the sport. Um, a lot of some of us came from hunting and shooting backgrounds. Um, some of us didn't. Um, can you hear me? Um, you know, so he it was very easy for him to coach something that he loved and enjoyed himself. So you know, uh, it was just always. A, let's see. It's, it's, it's like football, baseball, soccer, you know, it's like the sports where you, you, know, you really get picked up and you get there every time right in the bus. And like, ah, okay. So we're like a uh, quiet, you know, it's, good. it's a sport where you have to really bring yourself down. I mean, you can't shoot, you know, when you're hyped up. You have to breathe, you have to. Maintain a, a sense of calm, and Jim, Coach Sergio, did that. You know, he's uh, very understanding. Like you know, in practice, we would just, uh, you know, somebody's having a tough time. A lot of people don't understand how shooting works, but I'm not going to go into You know, you're on the range, and you know, he's right there watching every shot. Um, somebody's having trouble, you know, trying to buckle down. It's like you know, just take a breath. all you can do. Um, so, <coughs> always had words of encouragement. You know, when work shooting well, you may not, you know, some guys, you didn't always get to shoot the next match. Sometimes it's always in how you practice. You know, sometimes it's a little difficult to take, you know, it's like I'm going to miss this match because I'm not shooting well. But uh, it's just the way it was. And you didn't play favoritism. Um, Come match time, he always put the match, you know, the, the you're shooting good this week, you're going to be in the match. That's just the way it was. Um, uh, so anyway, I'm very honored um, to be here tonight. It's been a long, you know, it took a long time to like, as a, as a to, to, to call your, call them coach, 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 and then you hear off, and you like, and you start playing golf with them, and like, like, it's hard to say, hey Jim, you know, it's like, it's, hey coach. But I, I finally got to the point where I call him Jim, you know. Um, but honored to be here, and glad to see some of the other teammates here tonight. Um, you know, we're all very, very, very glad to see this happen. Um, it's, a, it's an amazing team, amazing coaching career, and uh, just. Very glad to see this field trip. Thank you very much. Come on out, Mr. Sergio. Have a few words for us.
not only an outstanding shooter, he's also an outstanding golfer. Um, we matched up this summer, he kicked my butt. Um, he's also a pretty good artist. He did a painting of a shooter that was like that and had Rory's rifle team on it. That's been in my living room since he gave it to me for years. And I look at it on a regular basis. But as I start my presentation, my wife told me I had to keep it short. Um, and I'll also start out by saying that I have all memories. My memory's not what it used to be. But um, once I got notification of this, I pulled out all my trophies and I put them on the table in the living room. They barely fit. <laughs> um, then I pulled out all my yearbooks and I went through all the pictures and things and I recognized all my teachers. Of course, I couldn't remember their names. I had to look at their names and back. Um, now that I've run into a few of them tonight, I didn't even recognize them, but then again, they're a lot older than they were back then. <laughs> um, but looking through the yearbooks brought back some memories that um, reminded me that the rifle team was one of the very few teams that had both boys and girls on the team. One of the girls was right at the top of the list of outstanding shooters, right up with Mark and my buddies over there. Um, the other girl, or one of the other girls, she wasn't a shooter. She used to put the targets up, take them down when we're done, clean up the grass, pick up the things, and I always felt bad that she didn't get the recognition. I wish she was here today so that I could give her that recognition because I greatly appreciated it. Um, but with this being said, I thought about why we were as good as we really were. And one of the things was because everybody was so calm. We never had any disciplinary problems at all. Everybody got along. They concentrated on what they were doing. And it made us very successful. And I was so happy for it. Now, my wife told me to keep it short. <laughs> so I'm going to finish up by saying, Thank you to the committee for recognizing us. And I want to thank Dr. Baljic. I know he was a big help in this. So thank you very much.